Well, welcome to my world. I was heading up to Scott Glacier. That's up that valley over there. And run into this knee deep snowdrift. So it's a good spot to stop and do a little comparison video. Okay, on your left is the Casio GPR B1000. And on your right is the Garmin Fenix 6 Pro. And I'm using my very old camcorders. It doesn't do good real close up here. Now, the mandatory disclaimer because I don't want to get into trouble with nobody. I bought these with my own money. They're mine. I am not sponsored, authorized, endorsed. This channel isn't monetized. What you're getting is my own personal opinion. So the first thing you, you're going to notice, these don't have the stock straps on them. I don't like rubber and plastic straps. Now the Garmin, that was a straight swap. Take off the old one, put on a new one. It got the NATO straps on them. With the Casio, you got to get an adapter. I got that one from J's and K's. And no, they didn't pay me to say that. That's just where I got it. They're not cheap either. Also on the Garmin, I put a dust plug in the charging port. You will get crud in there. Even if you don't go playing in the mud, it's going to scrape off your skin. Anybody's had to clean off the back of a watch that's got a bunch of old sweat dirt on it knows that. Now, of course, with these NATO straps on there, you're not going to get the uh, pulse meter or the blood oxygen sensor, which is okay with me. I'm 74 years old, and I figure when I... When either one of them stops, I'll know it. Now, yeah, size, you can tell there's a big size difference. The Casio is a brick. But it, the weight distribution is pretty good. You do know it's there, but it uh, doesn't annoy you. It's not, this isn't something you're going to want to wear in the office. It'll fit under my work shirt, cuff uh, just barely, but if you got something buttoned down, it's not going to work in there. Other than that, it's not very stylish. You can see the thickness. Now, the, the main thing that interests me about these two is the screen. The only reason I got these watches is a backup for my handheld GPS. And uh, the first one I got was the Casio, and it turned out to be very handy. But I got a complaint about the screen. It uses that breadcrumb tracking. It's kind of hard to follow. The slow, the lowest you can get the screen down is to one mile. Now here you got the Garmin, and you can scroll in and uh, up and down, in and out. You know virtually as much as you want. So 
That's, and uh, the cashew, of course, leaves out a, a just plain breadcrumb trail that uh, can be a little hard to follow sometimes, you know, particularly in close quarters, back in the woods. It doesn't show much except the general direction when you got to take a bunch of twists and turns. The Garmin, you can zoom in there and really get in there. Whoops. Really see every twist and turn pretty much. And of course it's got the maps so you you see there's the highway out there where I turned off to come on this trail. The Casio screen is a lot smaller than a coyote howling off in the distance there. Okay, let that coyote shut up. Now, as far as the uh, battery goes, the Garmin, of course, has a plug-in, which works okay. When, uh, give you a day or a half or so of power if you're on GPS. The Casio is solar powered and it has a cordless docking station you can snap it into if you need to charge it. I have never needed to use that. The Casio battery just lasts forever. With the solar charger you just carry it on your wrist if the sun's out it's charging up. I've never had this go dead. Have had the Garmin get pretty low. So, basically, you know, uh, the Garmin is meant more for the, the daily use. Uh, the people are into fitness and so forth. They're not going to be far from their house. They can charge it up when they want to unless you carry a battery pack with you. The Casio is for people that are way out there, might not get back for days. And it, of course the Garmin has a whole bunch of bells and whistles for the fitness people. I'm not going to get all into that. The Casio is pretty basic. Uh, it does what it's supposed to do. So, which one is better? Well, the Garmin's got the better screen, without a doubt. It's lighter, it's more stylish, all that. The Casio's got the better battery. And it's a G-Shock, so it, it's damn near bulletproof. And, you know, which one would I recommend? Well. I won't recommend either one of them because they're they're both excellent watches that do what they're supposed to do. Just under they just do it a little differently. So for around town, day trips, the Garmin, out in the boonies when you never know what's gonna happen. When it hits the fan, you want the Casio. Now, if you want a whole bunch of technical information and uh, comparisons and so forth, you know, um, watch up 69, Mr. Rangeman has done several very detailed compare, uh, videos on both of these watches. And 
He's a lot more knowledgeable about them than me. I'm just a guy that likes to mess around with stuff. Go out where I do th stupid things. Where I might have to call somebody to come and rescue me. So that's it. And you got to make up your own mind what you want to do.